Alright, hey there everyone from RWC and Beyond. This is the GMG, and I will be playing through all the currently available custom content for Banjo-Kazooie. Basically, on RWC, uh, a new tool was released called Banjo's Backpack, and now you can make your own Banjo-Kazooie custom levels and stuff. Uh, the showcase is where, on RWC, people show off their hacks. I'll be trying to play through every available patch in the showcase. So, like, if there's a hack in the showcase that doesn't have a patch, I, of course, won't be able to play it. And if the hack has a patch available elsewhere, I probably won't know about it and won't be playing through it. This also includes the bug report section, which has several patches that aren't currently in the showcase. But I'll only be playing through, like, what people have, like, available. So, the first level is my own. The first custom level other than Snowglow Village. Download it below and use Levitate to find the hidden tree in what used to be Spiral Mountain. Oh god, I remember doing this. Alright, so here I am. Let's playing my own level. How vain of me. Alright. Actually, no, not really, because I'll be bashing it quite a bit or as much as I possibly can in the short amount of time that I'll be playing it. So I made this before uh, Banjo's Backpack allowed you to select a starting level, so I just loaded up that save of just basically getting to Grunty's Lair and getting the first Jiggy. And here we are. Uh, a big, white, untextured box. Alright, uh, I believe I have home set to see up. Alright, this is me trying to look up and all around, and, oh wow, we found the hidden tree! Um, alright, I'm not going to be using cheats unless it's absolutely necessary, and since I myself know that there's nothing of importance up there, I'm not going to be using a levitation code. So, um, yeah, that's about all there is to it for part one. I'll probably be making part two at the same time, since this was so short, but here we go. The first custom level in Banjo-Kazooie, other than Snowglow Village, which doesn't count, because for those of you who don't know, Snowglow Village was made by Skill with, like, super early version of Banjo's backpack, back when it was called Mumbo's Wand. Um, like, before the initial release, so... He doesn't get any speed medal or anything. I'm the ultimate winner at making an absolute piece of shit. Which, fun fact, um, I just didn't know about, like, the fact that it matters which side, which way the sides are facing. And you spawn on top of the box. And you were supposed to roam around on top of the box and fool around with the tree. Which I even placed, like, a begin and climb thing at, like, the top and bottom of. But then I found out that, basically, I only had collision on the inside of the box, so I fell right through the top of it when I spawned here. So yeah, see you guys next time on Let's Play the Banjo Backpack Showcase Thingamabob.